this is Sarah from Media Burn. Immigration has been on everyone's mind this summer as the saga in Arizona continues and develops. Almost every one of us in the U.S. has an ancestor who decided to leave their home country, their friends, family, language, and everything they know about to come to the United States. They did this because they had an idea of America as a place that would solve their problems or offer opportunities or something missing in their lives. And this idea was compelling enough to be worth the risks and the sacrifices. Sometimes this idea of America comes from experience, but often it is rooted in a complex mythology founded in our pop cultural exports and rumors. I've always been fascinated by the dream of America, that it is possible for an idea or a concept to be so powerful that people will risk everything to find it. Sometimes people have, uh, people's idea of America is completely mistaken, and sometimes it actually turns out to be everything they wanted it to be. In this tape, Skip Blumberg interviews people as they stand in line at the immigration office in New York City waiting to become citizens. They describe their ideas of what America is and isn't, and why they face such hardships to get here. This video blog was inspired by a recent episode of This American Life, where immigrants talk about urban legends, both fantastical and completely accurate, that they used to believe about America. Check it out in the links below. Hi. Hi. What's your name? My name is Patricia. And you're from where? I'm from Georgia. She's from Germany. Germany. From Germany? What do you think about living in America? different because you anything you need you can you can get it over here yeah, yeah. but it's not that easy all the time no 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 easy that's <laughs> not the easy but that's it, not easy over here. but so how is it different than your country there must be things to get there too no 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 well our country has something to we can get it right now but you need a lot of money to get it something yeah uh, besides to that we don't have uh work when you were living in Jamaica, what did you think about the United States? What, what, um, what did you hear about the United States? Well, I heard that it was very cold. Yeah, what do you think about this being cold? Huh? What do you think about it being cold? It's not nice. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Jamaica is very warm. Uh -huh. And some of the, um, the people up here, they're not, you know, like friendly and stuff, but Jamaican people. They're warm and welcome to everybody. But uh, what's so good about the United States? If everything's so great in Jamaica, it's warm and the people are friendly. What's good um, about here? It's cheaper. It's cheaper here? Mm-hmm. Huh. And that's the only thing? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's cheaper. And it's different, too. And you get a lot of more opportunities. Uh -huh. Like, like um, I want to be a model. So that's what I'm going to do. What's, what are you looking over there for? My mother. <laughs> your mother's here? Yeah. All right, well, you better get back to your mother. Good luck. Okay. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. So are you happy to be doing this? Yeah, of course. Why not? Why not? Because look at how messy it is, and you don't know where these fingerprints go to the FBI or... Well, I, I, I have a clean record, so there's nothing to... I mean, you have to do this for my citizenship. So you're looking forward to this? Oh, yeah. Why? Well, I think it's a great idea being an American citizen. Yeah? But it's so hard here, unemployment. It is hard anywhere, but you got to make the best out of it. It's not too cold for you here? No, I, li I like the weather. I like the cold. Yeah? I prefer the winter more than the summer. Where are you from? Guyana. Guyana? Yeah. It's never. It doesn't snow there. No, no. You get a minimum of about 60. What do you uh, do here? I'm a politician. You're a politician? Yeah. <laughs> Serious? You got a UN hat? Yeah, I chair the Guyana Republican Party. Really? Yeah. So what, uh, that's not socialist, I guess. No, I'm capitalist. Uh -huh. yeah. So why are you in the United States if you're a, a Guyanese? Politician? Well, my political activities is not permitted over there as yet, so I'm a kind of temporary um, exile over here. Until that's cleared up and I can return to Guyana. Left hand here. So, uh... Does the United States still seem like the land of golden opportunity down there? Well, 
Yes, it's a land of golden opportunity. It's a view from every part of the world. And um, there are some problems, but people can adjust as they come over here. Fingerprints, Fingerprints and, and pictures. For citizenship. Twenty-one ninety-nine. Okay. Yeah. How much is it? I mean citizenship. Citizen is twenty one ninety nine. Uh huh. That's pretty cheap to become a citizen, huh? <laughs> but not. It's Are you a citizen? No. Oh, it's hard. I'm fine. I'm fine for being a citizen. Oh yeah. Yeah. You want to be in America? No, I just like want to travel, but I just want to come back to the country. Like, if you have a green card, it's like they yeah. give you a lot of hassle and uh, uh, you know, so. You know. America has a rich tradition of welcoming people from all parts of the world to become United States citizens. The United States has become enriched by the addition of individuals like you who choose to become part of the diverse fabric of American life. Joe is eligible to apply for naturalization. He is at least 18 years of age. He was lawfully admitted into the United States for permanent residence. He has lived in the United States as a legal resident for at least five years, with the exception of a few short trips, and has lived for six months in the state where he will file his petition for citizenship. He has shown good moral character. To the Immigration and Naturalization Service, this means that in the last five years, he has not been an alcoholic or polygamist. He has not been involved with prostitution or narcotics, has not been a criminal or a professional gambler, has not been convicted of a crime and jailed for six months or more, and has never been convicted of murder. He has not been a member of the Communist Party or a similar organization for the past 10 years. He has never broken any laws. He is able to speak, understand, read, and write simple English. 